Hi everyone and welcome to another gameplay analysis video for groups E and F of JoJo's All-Star Battle. Uh, today, as mentioned in the comments for the last video, we're looking at Akira vs Josuke and Kaz vs Diavolo, uh, the second match of which has something important to be looked at. Hey, so this playing of the guitar actually increases his hardy gauge. Uh, it looks uh, way more unsafe than the Hamon users doing their breathing, um, which makes sense, I guess, because it is the kind of unique thing. Um, but he can do it as well if you ever need to. So uh, the Spitfire, this version of it, at least, uh, has is kind of a weird projectile because uh, it looks almost impossible to hit anyone crouching. I don't think there's anyone in the game who'd be big enough to be hit by it. Um, because I'm pretty sure Wham would be the tallest croucher and even he would crouch under it. Um, so, to hit someone with it, you'd either have to have them standing fairly close to you or use it as an anti -air. It does look really good as an anti if they're jumping from this kind of distance. But if they're jumping right in front of you, it looks too slow to me personally. So you'd either have to predict the jump or um, be psychic. Uh, the also worth noting is that all of his specials, from what I've seen, take down Electric Gauge, uh, but it just gradually goes up while you're um while you don't have red <laughs> while you don't have red hot chili peppers out. <laughs> so uh, as you saw, his charging does take it up way faster than uh just the gradual increase, but even that doesn't look like that much. Um. It did kind of got not that much, uh, considering how long it took Josuke to get in. I don't know. That's just my personal opinion. Maybe I'm greedy. So as you saw, that super crumpled Akira, uh, which is kind of cool, because it, it didn't do that much less damage than a normal hearty gauge attack, I, I feel, considering it crumpled, and you'd be able to combo off it. Is, is pretty neat for Josuke. So that version of the Spitfire, electric, uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers comes out and kind of dive kicks you. So that is obviously way easier to hit your opponent with. So you could kind of psychically anti it, and then if they didn't jump, you'll just dive kick them, and everyone will be happy. <laughs> So this is the the other way he can recover uh, electric gauge. Is that if you hearty attack them, it just goes straight up to full. Um, so that kind of makes the the resource back the resource aspect of it less important, and uh, it makes it kind of just more like a momentum meter. Uh, because if if you're the one who's keeping pressure on your opponent, the instant you hit them with a combo, you'll just get all that electric gauge back, and then you can spend it all again in either the com next combo or in pressure to get that next hit. Um, whereas if they're the one beating on you, then it's going to be much harder for you to get that first hit without any electric gauge to start it with. So, um, yeah, more of a momentum meter than a resource, I feel. <laughs> that, uh, first of all, that move that Akira did with Red Hot Chili Peppers comes from behind them seems like a cool footies tool because um, not many ground normals in any games that I've, I've played will be able to hit behind you. Um, so if you use it, it's kind of like a footies tool where you just like have this kind of neutral mid distance, uh, kind of like start of the round distance, then you could just do it and it'll probably beat all their normals. Um, of course he whiffs it here because he gets sidestepped. So yeah, you do have to take into account there is sidestepping in this game. Uh, this projectile that Josuke is doing as well, I think, looks really nice, because it's really slow. Um, and he obviously seems like a rushdown character, given his only projectile is these bubbles. Um, there's so many of them that they'll, they they should beat most projectiles as well, which is, is good. It lets you use it as a, a really strong shield. They don't go full screen. Uh, they, they don't actually go that far at all. Um, but they go far enough for you to just walk behind them. So, uh, his, uh, his auto auto type move, I should just call him Blazing Fists, but I don't know, I just like saying auto auto. Um, it has different follow-ups, kind of like Rohan's. Uh, none of them really look that safe. That kind of punch 
looked like Red Hot Chili Peppers sat there for a while while Josuke didn't do much. But, yeah. That looks like a counter, that, that shaving move. From a, <laughs> I say looks like a counter, I mean Akira got hit from full screen. Uh, well, Red Hot Chili Peppers was uh, punching the bubbles. Um, but, it did look like Josuke still got hit. So, uh, it's a weird kind of counter, I guess. Maybe it is in counter and he just got hit by the bubbles. And it's just a very short range move. But uh, I'm not sure what its uses would be if it, if it was just a, a very short range move because the levels are really close to him. So. so this combo has taken off Koichi's award of uh, best combo done by the AI because it was light, medium, heavy, special, super, command normal after the super, which is is cool. Um, I'm sure you could do better than that, but. That's the best the AI can do. Surely even the auto auto into the, the grab animation that it has that it did in PB4, where it like auto auto and then grabs them and throws them, like he did to to Fun Fun Fun's user. Um, surely even that would be a better ender. But uh, the AI wanted to do that, so that's what it did. As you saw there, the bubbles work is a really good shield. <laughs> because even if your opponent jumps in, they're going to get hit by them because they come out pretty fast, even if his recovery isn't that fast. Uh, by the time Akira had, had reached Dorska, they were already out. So they should be really, really good as a, as a sort of pressure tool. Walking behind them is always fun. Um, so Dorska feels like this kind of weird uh, rush any character to me so far, um, because he has a few combo tools, as you saw, that's super crumpled. I believe one of his command normals crumples as well. Um, and uh, his, his auto auto looks quite unsafe, so I'm not sure about that one. But um, with those combo tools and those bubbles, I'm sure he'll he'll be a, a viable character because um, even just one frame trap uh, into into crumples and stuff should be uh, good for him. The the shaving though, I'm not sure how you'll use. Maybe it's like a DP or something, which is short range. I don't know. That's just speculation. I don't I don't want to say any more about a move that I don't know more about. Um, but yeah, I, I do think he looks good. The uh, spin spin looks fun as a, a special use. Um, it has that zero friction follow up as well. It looks nice. Um, On to Akira though. As I said, I don't feel the electric gauge is more is is really a resource as much as a momentum meter. Even though you do lose electric gauge every time you use a special, I believe. Um, with how easily you can recover it by just hitting with one super. I say easily. I mean, you do have to have the meter for it. But um, you should, even if you don't have a meter somehow, you should be able to probably get an ender and just charge up a good chunk of it again. Um, you might not want to use all of your gauge going for, for pressure if you don't have a bar to get it back. But you can still use a, a bit of it. Um, as for how he'll play, uh, I'm not really sure yet. We haven't really seen enough of his, his specials to, to really go with anything, anything solid. Um, he, he does have some cool spacing tools with that Spitfire and the Dive Kiki type move and the uh, the Come From Behind move. So he he might just be a, a footsies kind of character. Should be um, neat. <laughs> I do think his uh, specials look interesting so far though. Bit disappointed he didn't get through because I predicted he would. Um, see if we get cards with here, Bob. The first fight between big bosses. So conveniently, right at the start of the match, Diavolo does what I want to talk about. Um, as you saw, Cars was hitting him. There's a combo counter right up here, but Diavolo then just deleted time. Uh, it took about half a bar of him um, with this slight chunk he got for being hit, I believe, over the halfway mark. Um, so Diavolo has a burst as well. But unlike Kuichi's, this one is basically un unbeatable. It's really fast, and even if you did somehow bait it out, there's no way you can punish it because he's deleted time and you can't do anything at that deleted time. So he's guaranteed to recover safely even if you bait it out. All you've done is make him waste half a bar. Um, which I guess is enough. Uh, considering his character looks like it's kind of based around this time deletion, um, it, like his, his normals don't look very good. Uh, he can't combo off his overhead because it knocks down. Um, Nothing else. He doesn't have an auto auto move. He can sand rush with pressure or destroy guard bar that way. So if he is kind of based around the time deletion, and baiting it out would be good, uh, good enough. 
but um, some people are worried that uh, you could possibly punish, obviously, because uh, time is deleted now, so Diavolo can do whatever he wants. Um, in the Famitsu article, it says that whenever Diavolo presses a button, time deletion ends. So as long as you're just blocking, um, unless he mixes you up during the time deletion, uh, you'd be able to block if you're not doing anything. The second problem is that, uh, well, the second part of the problem is that um, if he time deletes a um, a long move, then um, he could possibly punish it. Like if he if he um, time deletes Kaz's standing H, he could possibly punish. It. And some people think he's done that in this video because they see counter hit come up when uh, the, the time deletion ends. But what's actually happening is that Kaz is just mashing buttons during the time deletion. Uh, you can see that him start a new normal when the time deletion ends. So it's not 100% confirmed yet that Diavolo can actually punish. Uh, if he can't, I'm kind of okay with it. I'd still, I think he'd be top tier with this alone. But uh, all it really guarantees him is a mix-up. Um, which obviously getting a mix-up because your opponent hit you is fairly strong. But if it's only a mix-up and he can't combo off the overhead or the throw, so the only option you have to worry about is the low, then it's probably reasonable. Um, because there's no way for him to get back the half a bar that he spent on the bur on this burst if he does the low or the overhead. So if you just block low, then that kind of ends this vortex. Um, if he can punish you, though, then that's completely ridiculous, and I couldn't see the character possibly being fair. Um, because a burst that you can't punish is already ridiculously strong in a game where only three characters so far, I think, can burst. And we're not even confirmed that Dio can still do it. So... He'd probably end up banned, I have to say, if he could combo, if he can punish you with the burst. But if he can't, I imagine he'd just be really good. And it's probably reasonable. It's just another wacky element in a game with characters with lots of wacky elements. Like, cars can make his blades unblockable, so it's not like there aren't other characters with cheap stuff that seems immediately cheap. Um, do have to keep our eye out, though. So Kaz also has a huge powerful kick that kicks the opponent miles away for no good reason. So this is his light mode, Kaz. Um, as I said, I'm pretty sure it makes his attacks involving the blades unblockable. Um, that might be the super version of it, like the one that, that ACDC had the, the burning damage on. Um, but I'm pretty sure it just makes his uh, moves unblockable in Bopsy Specials. So. Uh, that that uh that swipey thing he does uh, looks kind of mediocre outside of light mode because it's not that long and it, it doesn't look that that uh like he recovers that fast. I I think it looks even negative on hit. Not that negative. Not like you can punish it on hit, but uh, it'll probably end your pressure. But in light mode, it's really really big, um, so it's probably okay there. Uh, I'd also like to say here how vague it is that what attacks involving his blades actually is. So I don't want to make any comments on how good moves would be if they're unblockable because I don't know what which ones will be. Like, he's got a command normal where he swings with his, the blade in his leg, and that standing heavy use the blade in his arm. Would they be unblockable because they use the blades, or is it just the specials? So. But, uh, that Wesker-style teleport that Diavolo has, as I said in the other video, because he has the time deletion, there's no need for you to use that, that teleport as a movement option. So... It doesn't really matter how safe it is. You just kind of use it as, like, after you get a knockdown, you dash, uh, you kind of stand back. This is kind of a thing that Bukis do sometimes in Street Fighter 4, where uh, you, you just kind of stand back and then teleport at an ambiguous distance. So it's like you would end up on top of them. Which side are you going to be on? And they have to react and block. Um, you can still use it as a movement option if you want, but I can't see any real reason you'd want to use it instead of just time deleting if there's anything in front of you, or just running if there's not. That, uh, that is uh, an overhead, I'm pretty sure, according to the Fimitsu article. Even if it's not according to the Fimitsu article, I'm still pretty sure to be an overhead, because it's like the the, 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 the iconic overhead animation. So, uh, But it does knock down. Um, so unless he's got an OTG that you could put some cancel, you can't combo off it. So, um, It's kind of like a Street Fighter 4 overhead if you're not a Buki or Dudley, in that you do the overhead, and that's that's all you get.
So yeah, as you saw, Kars had definitely recovered from the move that Diabolo burst, and then he got kind of hit. That's because he started to do something else after the time deletion end, which is stupid, because Diabolo gets guaranteed to make the first move, so just block. Blocking is, is, a, is tends to be the best option when you're uh, in pressure, uh, until you find the gap. So. <laughs> So that was the, the counter version of, of uh, the, the time deletion, I'm pretty sure. Um, it seems to have really long active frames, because he kind of started it before Kaz started that unreasonably long teleport, uh, and still countered it, so... You probably have to use more throws against Diavolo, um, if the punish window is small. Uh, not that there's, there's anything wrong with the character forcing you to use more throws, but... yeah. The, uh, as for the teleport from Kaz, that, that option he did there looked kind of like a low, and he's got another one where he falls from the sky on top of you, and that one looks kind of like an overhead. Uh, if they both are, then this is kind of a neat mix-up tool when you're full screen, uh, because the third one is an empty teleport, he just teleports behind you and does nothing. So, you can, if you're full screen, because the startup is way too long for you to really use it if you're in your opponent's face, like, they just hit you and then you'd, that was the end of it. Uh, if you're full screen though, you could either use it to punish projectiles, or if it's not fast enough for that, well, it's not fast enough for that, because the startup's way too long. But if you psychically predict that your opponent's going to throw a projectile and teleport, you'd want to go for the empty one and go behind them and hit them. Um, but as a mix-up tool, you could go for the overhead or the low, and um, that's a, your, your opponent's got a 50-50 chance of blocking it right. But then you've also got to factor in the fact that you could just do an empty one and then throw them or pressure them. So, Because the empty one recovers fairly fast. So it's, it's, it's pretty cool of a tool. Really, I quite like the idea of it. Uh, it obviously has to have a long startup because this isn't my whole. Sorry for not saying much in that kind of late half there, but the AI didn't really do much that it hadn't done already, uh, apart from with lots of stuff. Um, so there wasn't that much I could say about it. That, uh, that sliding forward swipe kind of thing that Kaz does um, seems like a, a useful combo tool. He doesn't do it in this match, but I'm pretty sure he combos after it in um, the match against Okiyasu. It might just be in light mode, but um, either way, because he takes that long slide forward, you're, you're basically guaranteed to, to get it. There's not like if you if you cancel into it from maximum range standing heavy, it, w it wouldn't whiff because of how far it goes. Um, so that that's a neat thing to have, especially if you can't combo after it. Um, uh, one thing to note that I didn't before was that uh, even though the swiping swiping thing, um, it it does look kind of negative. Uh, it does do a neat neat amount of guard gauge damage. So if you haven't got enough meter to to light mode it might be worth trying to, to work down your opponent's guard gauge. Because, um, as you saw just a bit in that match, I probably should have paused for it, but Diavolo was down to like half guard gauge from just one stylish move and blocking some some um, cards normals and the, the swipey swipey thing. So, I should remember the name of the swipey swipe thing, I don't like calling it that, but, <laughs> sorry. Um, so, breaking your opponent's guard uh, probably won't be as important with cards given you can just go into light mode and guard gauge is irrelevant because they block, can't block anymore. But um, it's always going to be useful for every character, uh, depending on the situation, because forcing your opponent to stop blocking is like the game, aim of every character's moveset. Um, as for Diavolo, I've kind of said what I needed to say about him at the beginning, in that he looks like he's based around that time deletion, in that yeah, his normals look kind of mediocre, his mix-up looks kind of mediocre, even though he has an overhead because it knocks down. Um, isn't, yeah, 
the only worry is if you can punish off that burst, in my opinion. And he hasn't yet, so I'm I'm still tentatively okay with it. Um, I do think alone that it would make him god tier though, uh, because spending half a bar to get out of a combo and guarantee yourself the perfect positioning and a mix up is still really good, even if the rest of the character sucks. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's my thoughts on the the Diabolo burst basically. Um, don't don't press buttons during time dilation uh, is is a good thing to keep in mind because Diavolo is guaranteed the first button press during it because him pressing the button ends the time dilation. So just just don't press the button because his will come out first and then you'll be okay as long as he can't punish. I think it it'll probably work something like he can't actually act until you've recovered if he bursts uh, and that way it's it's impossible for him to punish you. So like if if he bursts the standing heavy, he stands on that pose until the standing heavy recovers. That's what it kind of looked like when he burst a few things that it looked like he should have been able to punish during that match. But um, it is possible the AI could have punished them and didn't. Uh, yeah, if if he can punish, he'll probably have to be banned somewhere along the line. I don't want to make ban calls before a game comes out, but it's it's basically impossible to play against a character that can punish you for you hitting them because if combos get good enough with Diabolo then you could probably build back most of this half a bar you spent doing it. And um, he doesn't even have to mix you up to get that combo, because you'd, he has just a way for you to, you to hit him. Um, he also probably can't do it in the air, because it, it's a special move. Uh, as it has its own name down here and everything. So if he can't do it in the air, that's another thing you can do, is just go straight into a launcher before uh, they, they get the decision to burst. Punish a normal. Um, like, if you're standing heavy is punishable with his burst, then going standing medium, standing light, standing medium, launcher, and skipping the heavy, and that way he can't punish anything at the very least. But it'd still be still be ridiculous. I couldn't see any character except Diavola really being 100% viable in that sort of a metagame. So, don't want to be pessimistic, because the game isn't out yet. Haven't had any chance to actually see how the burst works, so it's entirely possible it's actually bad because of things that we can't see because the AI isn't doing them. So, don't be as pessimistic as me. Just cross your fingers and hope that we see in the top 16 how Diolo's burst works better. And if we don't, we'll just have to wait for the game to come out. Um, and as expected, only the ultimate being can really understand King Crimson. So, thanks for watching. Um, please watch next time. I think I'll be doing Joseph vs. Hermes, and I haven't decided who from Group F yet. Uh, if you have any requests, yeah, say them in the, in the comments. Thanks for watching.